Open yourself to new possibilities, new thought processes. Processes which include self-discipline, self-awareness, self-care, empowerment and enlightenment. Take the initiative to be at the mercy of no one other than yourself, your maker. For it is you who makes your reality. Your view of life is your making. Renew now by creating a reality of well-being, a life of infinite possibility and potential. Your breath will guide you as yoga embraces and engages you. Abundance, universal, is ready to welcome you. So finding yourself in a seated position, one of comfort, whether that be cross-legged, kneeling, or maybe with your legs extended in front of you, or possibly sitting in a chair to begin with. Tune in to your breath. Take time to start on a journey of discovery. Discovery of the self. Unclench your teeth. Soften and relax around your shoulders. Rise up through the trunk of your body, having an internal lift and then also an external elevation. Lifting your skin. It is a simple Communication between mind and body. Mind communicating to body as to what to do. Close the eyes so that you may take a deeper view inward to the self. Tune in to the activity occurring in the trunk of the body as you breathe. It's always important to breathe in through the nostrils, for the nostrils house a filtering system for the air that you are taking in. They warm, moisten and clean that air before it reaches your vital organs, your lungs and your heart. There are billions of villi hairs within the linings of your nostrils. If you're breathing through your mouth, you'll take in cold, unfiltered air, and over time, this will deplete your lung capacity and the strength of your immune system. So wherever possible, always breathe in through your nostrils. Now as the air enters in through the nostrils and becomes warmed, cleaned and moistened, it then travels down to the back of the mouth, the pharyngeal area, and it will continue its journey down through the windpipe, the trachea, and will then break into two pipes known as the bronchi. And these connect to each lung, left lung, right lung. As the breath enters, they burst into life, your lungs, and they fill from bottom to top. To make way for the inflating lungs, the ribcage opens, the chest rises and moves outward, upward. The diaphragm, the large expanse of muscle found just beneath the ribcage, that contracts and moves downwards, giving a gentle massage to the organs within the lower realms of your torso. Feel this. Experience the breath in. The breath out. The diaphragm 
relaxes. When the diaphragm relaxes, the rest of the body follows. The chest lowers. The rib cage closes, forcing the air within the lungs to have to exit. And the lungs empty from top to bottom, push the breath up into the bronchi, up further still into the trachea, and exits at the pharyngeal area, the back of the mouth. That is one cycle of breath. When you breathe in, you are drawing in life-giving oxygen. When you breathe out, you are ejecting the byproducts of the breath cycle. You can release all that is spent through the breath out. And so too, you can connect this to the mind. As you breathe in, you draw in new positivity, new possibility, new potential. When you breathe out, you can eject the old, the used. Breathing in creates space, lift and elevation. Breathing out is a surrender, a release. It is about letting go. Have a couple of rounds of breath now to experience this fully. So now let us progress with some practice of yoga. Let's take ourselves round onto our hands and knees in a tabletop position. Make a great foundation. Have the knees hip width apart, have the hands shoulder width apart. Avoid collapsing your weight into your wrists and hands. Rather think about having an upward energetic lift. So you're actually pushing the ground away from you, rising up. Ensure that the body weight is evenly distributed through both thighs, knees, shins, front of both feet. Take the creases out of the back of the neck so that the head and neck become a natural extension of the spine. Tilt the pelvis slightly and pull the tummy in. Scoop the belly up. Bring the belly button to meet with the lower back. Breathe. Find a connection with the position you have made. Give yourself the time to understand it. Give yourself the time to see that your alignment is good and strong. And then gently, we'll bring the toes toward each other, the big toes to touch. Breathe in through the nose, and as you exhale, take the buttocks down towards the heels of the feet. Allow the fingertips to draw in towards the knees, and bring yourself into an upright kneeling position. Then take a breath in and rise up. Lift the body to be upright and then separate the toes. Let's have a nice deep inhalation in, thinking about creating that space, that lift, all the way up. So the lift is actually starting from the knees and you're rising up through the thighs and the hamstrings. You're lifting the flesh of the buttocks. 
And then we will release the left foot and place it in front of us. Adjust and adapt your position so that your shin is perpendicular to the walls around you. That means it's in a nice straight line. Your knee is over your ankle. So be aware if you have this position, that where your knee is going over your leading toes, you need to adjust and get the alignment correct. That way there is no pressure on the knee joint. Have your hands relaxed by your sides. Have your chin parallel with the mat. Breathe in and feel that lift occurring, especially from the hips, drawing the flesh of the lower trunk up towards the mid trunk and then the flesh of the lower and mid trunk up towards the chest. Breathe in, now raise the hands above the head, ensuring that you keep the shoulders away from the ears. So be aware if you've done this, whereby you think that stretching and reaching up into the fingertips merely happens by pulling your shoulders up. Your shoulders, they remain soft and relaxed. The lift is taking place from further down in the posture. Be aware of this. Now can you breathe in and raise the chin and the eyes up to look at the ceiling. Relax in, unfurrow the brow, unclench the teeth. Check that the palms of the hands are shoulder width apart that the fingers are together, the thumbs traveling alongside. And then gently release and bring the left knee back to your kneeling position. Let's transfer to the other side so that we now bring the right foot in front of us, checking the position, checking alignment so that the right knee is supported and protected by being placed directly over the heel of the right foot. Be aware that the trunk of your body is upright like a column, no slumping forward, no leaning back. Take the time to become aware of your body weight disbursement within the leading right foot and the left knee. Utilize both thighs, both shins, both feet, and allow the torso to then settle in its alignment over your base, your foundation. Breathe in, raise the arms, keep the shoulders away from the ears, unclench the teeth. Keep your focus as you continue to observe your cycle of breath. Remembering every time you breathe in, you're creating a lift of energy, an upward bound energetic pull. And every time you exhale, you're letting go, not collapsing, merely surrendering into the space you have created. Can we breathe in and take the chin and the eyes up? Unfurrow your brow, breathe. And then gently allow the hands to come down and release the right knee and lower the buttocks to the heels of the feet. Know that you can use a cushion here as well if you need a little bit of extra comfort and support. As soon as the body feels comforted and supported, it will let go and letting go is part of the process of increasing suppleness, flexibility, strength, resilience. 
letting go brings in the potential for new possibilities. Bring yourself once again into an upright kneeling position and draw the left knee forward. Find your foundation, adjust and adapt to that. Let's have the arms hanging naturally by the sides of the body. Let's turn the toes under on the right foot with a sense of an upward pull of energy can you come off of that back knee and straighten the leg don't judge yourself if you can't achieve that immediately you might find that you might like to place the hands in either side of the leading foot and try here you can come up and down along with the breath finding what feels good for you. Always creating space when you breathe in. Always releasing and letting go when you breathe out. Let's see if we can take those hands up and over the head. Let's see if we can tilt the pelvis a little our head and shoulders still very much centered over our hips. And then we gently allow the hands down, lower the knee and release back to that upright kneeling position. Now on the other side, check your foundation, give yourself the time to acknowledge that you feel strong and secure at the base of the position. A round of breath to draw in the new oxygen, the new potential, the new possibility. A breath out to become calm and composed, ready to move forward. Let's turn the toes under on the left foot. And when you next breathe in, you have this sense of uplift. It's going to take you up. It's almost like you have a fine ribbon coming from the crown of your head and it's pulling upwards. Take your time to achieve this. There is no rush, no race, no competition. Remember, you could place your hands either side of the leading foot and you could gently raise and lower the knee, checking the possibilities of your positioning. Unclench your teeth, have that focus. Breathe in and raise the arms up. Chin parallel with the floor. And then gently allowing those hands to come down, the knee to return to the mat, and then bring yourself to your upright kneeling position. And then bring the hands forward into tabletop once again. Introducing the core of you. Grow strong in your core and that strength will emanate through every living cell, molecule, every single part of the living organism that you are. Let's extend the right leg behind us nice and straight. Let's rise it up and keep it in line with the cheek of the buttock on the right hand side. So avoid trying to raise your leg up so high that you've lifted your right cheek. Keep them level. To help achieve that alignment, think of your left inner thigh muscle and roll it outwards. That will help the right hip drop and align with the left. So you could even use your hand to 
level out that left inner thigh muscle. And then let's release the left hand. So we have right leg extending away from our right hip, left arm reaching forward and away from our left shoulder. Avoid collapsing the stomach muscles. Have that pulling of the belly button to meet with the base of the spine. Have your vision, your view, looking directly at the mat in front of you so that your head and neck are a natural extension of your spine. And then release. Once again in your foundation, have that round of breath to reconnect. Remembering new oxygen is being drawn into the nostrils, into the system. Replenishing, rejuvenating. Remember to not crash down with the energy through the arms into the wrists, rather invert that and make the energy rise up so you're really pushing away from the mat. Let's extend the left leg behind us and raise it to be aligned with the left buttock. So at this point we could roll that right inner thigh outwards. That will help that left hip to become aligned with the rights. Let's release the right hand now and extend it forward. So our left leg is reaching back away from the left hip. We are drawing down towards the left toes. Our right shoulder is extending through the arm to the right fingertips, reaching out in front of us. The belly button is pulling back to the base of the spine. And breathe. And then gently release. Let's take the knees out wider than hip width, big toes touching, bring our buttocks down to the heels of our feet, extend our arms forward, lower the trunk of the body between the inner thighs and bring the forehead to the mat. In this position, relax the upper body muscles, especially around the shoulders, the scapular bones. Let them relax and release. Unclench your teeth and be aware of the expansion of your rib cage. And then as you breathe out, the contraction of the rib cage as it returns to its preliminary position. And then breathe in, walk your hands in towards your knees as you pull your tummy in, bringing yourself once again into a kneeling position. We'll come back to all fours, tabletop, Nice deep inhalation, exhale, surrender. Breathe in, we're going to release the left leg and swing the left leg from the left hip round so that the left foot comes between the hands. Then let's breathe in and rise up with the trunk of the body. Can we take the hands above the head, shoulders relaxed away from the ears? Can we turn the right toes under? Breathe in with an upward flow of energy and dynamism. We rise up, we raise the chin and the eyes up to look at the ceiling, unfurrow the brow, breathe. Unclench the teeth, and then let's return the chin to a parallel position and let's bring right hand forward, left hand behind us and rotate the trunk of the body to the left. Breathe, 
calm, composed. And then breathe in, rise the hands up, return to face that wall in front of you. And lower the hands, lower the right knee, and return the left knee, tabletop position. Again, this is your foundation. Check in. Relaxing in the right hip. Breathe in and swing the right leg round so that the right foot comes between the hands. Another breath in as you create space to bring the torso to an upright position. Adapt and adjust to the base of your pose. Breathe in, rise the hands up. Shoulders away from the ears, skin on the face soft, turn the left toes under, rising up with a breath in, energetic upward lift, chin up, eyes up, look up. And then the chin returns parallel with the mat as you bring the left hand forward, the right hand behind you and rotate the trunk of the body to the right. Breathe. Breathe in, return to the centre, lower the hands, lower the left knee, and then sweep the right knee back to come align with the left. Let's separate the knees wide and the hip width, bring the big toes together, a breath in, as you breathe out, draw the buttocks to the heels of the feet. Lower the trunk of the body between the thighs. Extend the arms forward and rest the forehead to the mat. Soften and let go. Then gently walk the hands in towards the knees as you pull the tummy in to support the spine and then bring the knees together. Palms of the hands atop each other. Pose of contemplation. Remember to use your cushion or folded blanket for extra comfort. You have one palm on top of the other. You decide, left on top, right on top. Point of thumbs touching. Close the eyes. Unclench the teeth. Unfurrow the brow. Allow the skin on the face to soften. Allow the shoulders to let go of any tension they might be harbouring and then follow the flow of your breath. Reflect upon the movements you have made with your body, the concentration you commenced with the mind. Open yourself to new possibilities new thought processes, processes which include self-discipline, self-care, awareness, empowerment and enlightenment. Take the initiative to be at the mercy of no one other than yourself, your maker, for it is you who defines your reality, your view of life is your making. Renew now by creating a reality of well-being, a life of infinite possibility and potential. Your breath will guide you. Yoga will embrace and engage you. Universal abundance is ready to welcome you. Bring the hands together at the heart Give thanks for your practice. Have gratitude for everything you have rather than what you do not have. And be safe in the knowledge 
that yoga is good for you.